Hello everyone. Welcome back to Military Now. The last of a new class of stealth destroyers left the main coast for sea trials. The ship, the future USS Lyndon B. Johnson, was constructed at Bath Iron Works. The trials will be the first time the ship hits the Atlantic Ocean. The warship is the last in a class of three ships the U.S. Navy has touted as the largest and most technologically sophisticated destroyers in its history. The ship is 610 feet long. The Arleigh Burke class destroyers constructed in Bath starting in the late 1980s were a little less than 510 feet. The new ship left 113 years to the day after Johnson was born. He died in 1973. David Hench, a Bath Iron Works spokesperson said we're honored to send this wonderful ship to sea trials on the birthday of its namesake. President Lyndon B. Johnson. The 36th president's daughters christened the warship at a ceremony in Bath in 2019. USS Lyndon B. Johnson, DDG-1002, is the third and final Zumwalt-class destroyer built for the United States Navy. The contract to build her was awarded to Bath Ironworks located in Bath, Maine on 15 September 2011. The award, along with funds for the construction of USS Michael Monsor was worth US$1.826 billion. United States dollars. On 16 April 2012, Secretary of the Navy Ray Mabus announced the ship would be named Lyndon B. Johnson in honor of Lyndon B. Johnson who served as the 36th President of the United States from 1963 to 1969. Johnson served in the Navy during World War II when he was awarded the Silver Star and ultimately reached the U.S. Naval Reserve rank of commander. DDG-1002 is the 34th ship named by the Navy after a U.S. president.
Lyndon B. Johnson will be a Zumwalt-class destroyer. Although 32 ships were originally planned for that class of ship, the U.S. Navy eventually reduced this number to three units.